Welcome to Stetson Law Live, an online, interactive, informational event for prospective students of Stetson University College of Law. On today's show, host Megan Crowley and her guest, Ruben Fernandez, Merva Oscan, and Julie Pradle. Our topic for today, the LLM degree in international law. Hello, and welcome to uh, Stetson Law's panel on studying law in the United States, an actual student's perspective. Uh, my name is Megan Crowley, and I'll be hosting uh, this for, with my my students, Marava, uh, Ruben, and Julie. Uh, today we're coming to you from uh, Stetson University College of Law. We're located in Tampa Bay, Florida, on the west coast of Florida. And I um, and, uh, hope that you if, please um, ask any questions that, that you have in the, on the right side, there should be a box that, where you can enter all your questions. Throughout the panel, if you have any, if you come up with a question, go ahead and write it down, and we're going to answer it at the end of the panel. So to start out, let's talk a little bit about Stetson. Um, Stetson University College of Law, as I mentioned, is located in Tampa. We're on the west coast of Florida, only about three miles or five kilometers away from the Gulf Coast. Uh, Stetson ha is actually Florida's oldest law school. We were founded in 1900. And uh, we've maintained this prestige in t with, with all of our programs. Um, we are also uh, been ranked number one in advocacy for 19 years, ever since they've um, uh, put, the, uh, put the rankings together. We've ranked the highest in advocacy. And we are also ranked number four in legal writing, which these two are very important skills for any successful lawyer. Um, uh, we also, as, as mentioned, we have an LLM in international law. So students that are interested in um, specifically in areas of, of business, environmental law, um, social justice, uh, we have uh, classes that may be of interest to you. So um, let's go ahead and move on to learn more about our, our panelists. So, um, but be actually before we do that, if you can go ahead and write down, tell me where you're from. Uh, let us know where where our um, audience is from, and after they introduce themselves, we'll see we'll see who's here. All right. Well, uh, Marva, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, everybody. I'm Marva Özcan. I'm from Turkey. I have my LLB degree from Çankaya University in Ankara. I was a lawyer in my country, and my main legal uh, interests are international law, immigration law, and human rights. Okay, Ruben. Hi, my name is uh, Ruben Fernandez. I'm from Caracas, Venezuela. Uh, I'm a tax lawyer. Uh, I work uh, many years in, in my country in the big uh, company called Impresas Polar. One of the brands, for example, were uh, Taxi. So, Julie? Hi, everyone. My name is Julie. I am from France, and I used to study in Université Toulousain Capital. Uh, my main interest is in family law and contracts law, and I'm here for the LLM in international law. Thank you very much. Well, um, looks like we don't have anyone just yet, but I'm sure we'll have people come in um, anytime now. Um, and we'll also have this uh, recorded in case, um, in case you want to watch this again later. All right, so first, um, can, can you give me a description of, of Stetson? What is Stetson like? Ruben? Um, the, campu the campus is uh, really awesome, it's beautiful, professors are great, uh, students uh, are, everybody is very interesting, um, I really love uh, this university. Great. Julie? For me, Stetson is about accomplishment and also about inspiration because of all the skills which are, which are very critical you will learn here and also about the personal development you will achieve here. All right. And Merva, do you, how, how would you describe Stetson? Stetson changed my perspective in life. I'm, I can see everything in a, in, 
in a different way now, uh, in a in a whole different perspective. And I love being here. I learned a lot in here. I I came uh, before I decided to come to Stetson. I came here to visit and make my decision. And I was so impressed when I met with the friendly staff, when I see the weather, when I see the environment of the yeah. campus. And I'm just glad to be here. Yeah, a lot of people. Um love the, the the Florida weather and um, the campus is actually located on a old um, an old hotel from the 1920s so it's a very unique place to study um, it's a very small campus so um, it you can get from one side to the other very easily um, you get to know the the faculty and staff fairly well um, be, so um, then why don't we uh, talk about uh, how does it compare, how does Stetson compare to the law schools that you've been, then you went to? Uh, Julie, do you want to start? Mm -hmm. uh, for me, the real difference is that the professor and all the Stetson community were really involved in uh, our uh, success. And they have a lot of services like bar prep, academic success. They have everything to help us and to do everything for us to be, to further achievement, really. How about Maribo? Well, how does it compare to your school in Turkey? The biggest difference is sarcastic teaching method because in our countries we don't have that method. We don't need to be fully prepared before going to our classes. It's enough for us to go to class and learn. But here we have to be fully prepared we, because the professors uh, always expect us to be fully prepared and read all of the things they send us before. So it's kind of different and mm -hmm. I think it's more beneficial for us. Yeah, the Socratic method is, um, is a method used here in the United States very commonly in law schools where the, student, where the, um, the, the faculty member will select a student to answer a question and might select additional students to com complete the answer. Um, and in order to to answer the question well, you have to have read the material all before and have to understand it well. Um, and uh, that's something that I've heard is uh, very different from most most other countries' teaching methods. Um, uh, Ruben, would would you agree? Yes, uh, that's the, a big difference uh, with my, with my country method. But at the end, it's, it's more beneficial because uh, you study less uh, for the final exams. Yeah, that learns for, um, it teaches you to think on your toes, think fast. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you're going to be in the, the courtroom, um, you'll, you don't have a lot of time to, to respond to something that the, the opposing side might say. Um, and uh, well, let's, let's talk a little bit about a typical week. Uh, Ruben, what is a typical week um, here? Um, um, I'm taking the, this semester. I'm taking four classes plus the externship, so I'm full. Um, <laughs> I study a lot, yeah. <laughs> and maybe four to six hours uh, daily, uh, uh, including weekends. So yes. Uh, you need to be prepared for the classes, so you need time. Um, but it's, it, that's good. That's uh, the education. Yeah. What? How many pages are you expected to read? Would you say per week? Per classes? Or per class? Per yeah. class, uh, maybe forty to fifty pages. Per, yeah. per class or per, per week? Classes. Per, per class. Per class. All right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and then uh, Julie. Uh, do you have? Do you do any activities on campus? Do you have you taken advantage of any of the um, uh, programs that that we have here on Stetson? Uh, yes, you can see. What is very nice is that in Stetson you have the gym, you have the pool, you have the student lounge, you have a lot of things you can do here to have good time after studying. Even though, like Ruben said, you need to be prepared to study a lot, but it's very gainful and you, it's educational. You will learn a lot. Yeah, I, I heard that some of the international student girls were talking about putting together a basketball team. Yeah. Yeah? I'm uh, in that team. Yeah, you're on the team. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty, I mean, it's great to get out and get active. And I think, Julie, you also said you were, you did yoga. Or was that? So my yeah. my French roommate is doing yoga. Oh, oh. And yeah. they can even do yoga on the beach. Mm -hmm. so oh, that's really great. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, and let's see. Um, so how about um, adjusting? Um, adjusting to the differences? between 
um, your law school and the American method. Um, do any of you have uh, any tools that you used? Um, I got help from my Stetson Law buddy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Stetson provides us buddies and they're helping us with everything for adapting here. So it was really helpful and I adapted really easily thanks to my Stetson buddy. And yeah. academic success, it's really helped me because when I first came here I was so afraid because everything was so new I, I wasn't sure how to study and academic success helped me with every step of it. Yeah, the, the Stetson Law Buddies, uh, we, put, we try and put you in contact with an American student and uh, before you even come so that they can give you some advice on um, on what you need to move here to Florida, maybe uh, what classes might be most beneficial, depending on what your major is. Um, and they also, we try and have them pick you up at the airport so that you're, uh, that you don't just arrive with, with no one here. Um, it's definitely something that we, we really um, know that our students appreciate. And then uh, the Office of Academic Success is here to make sure that uh, all of our students are academically successful. So if you have any questions in regards to maybe note taking, like what's the best way to take notes or what like you're having trouble in a particular classes, they might be able to help you with methods to um, help you study better. So Julie, um, did you have any other tools that you that you used? Uh, what is very nice is the open door policies of the professor, which means you can go and see them after every class or even outside of class to understand more. And it really helps you because, I, from what I know in France, you cannot really do that. And they also have a um, student association. You have a lot of them. So you can be involved easily. They do a lot of events. So you can meet a lot of people and get adjusted uh, very quickly and easily. All right. And so um, right now, um, in the spring semester, our students are allowed to do an externship. Um, and so all of our students currently now started their externship this past month. Um, so uh, Ruben, can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing and how do you think that what you're learning there will help you in the future? Yeah, um, at the beginning I was looking for uh, a company uh, to, to practice my, uh, my skills in task law. So that's what I found. Uh, that the, I'm very happy with my externship and doing the international taxes with uh, this is a bank with uh, with that subsidiaries in Panama I'm very happy I'm doing also uh, contracts so it's very interesting and uh, and this is uh, because of Stetson yeah and how about how about Julie what, what are you doing for your externship uh, I am extern with a judge in a, a, a civil court, it's very interesting. I can go to see a lot of hearings, ask a lot of questions, and meet all the people in the judicial organization, which is uh, my favorite externship from all the externships I've done since so far. And it's I learned a lot, really. Okay. And I had it thanks to Stetson. I just applied through the Stetson organization. Yeah, I'm very glad that you're, ha you're having a great experience with that. It's with Judge Campbell, right? Exactly. Yeah. How about you, Maribel? How, what are you doing? I really wanted to do something related to human rights, and Stetson really helped me to find an externship which can I, which can I truly involve in human rights. So I'm making my externship in a family community center, and I'm making research for them. I'm working for them, and I'm just so glad that I can do something related to human rights. That's great. Um, and so, uh, Julie, how about... Um, what is the importance of English fluency in, um, in being successful in this program? Uh, you, you know, they required a TOEFL score, and I had the limit scored, so I was a little scared about it. But when I arrived, I've seen that the professor have a really good English, and they do everything that you understand. So it's not that hard. It's pretty less harder than what I expected. But if I have an advice for you, it's that if, whenever you find a word you don't know, just look at it and, you know, note it and try to look at it often to be sure to, you know, remember after. Okay, that, that's really good advice. How about Mariba? Um, do you have, a, what would you say about the, about needing to have English fluency? Um, it's just really important. It was, it's a, because 
law is law is something else. Yeah, English law is something else, and I got some help from academic success too about it. They mm -hmm. sent me some some words that I can use during my education. So it's really important. Yeah, here um, here at Stetson uh, for our LLM program, we require um, an 88. Uh, for TOEFL or a 6.5 for IELTS um, and being fluent is so important as, as Mariva said it's like legal English is like a third language so if you are um, if you need to improve your English before coming to law school I think that's the best the best option um, to make sure that you're um, not only you don't get frustrated in class but that you are successful in class and make the most of, of your your LLM year so um, let's see, our next question is um, uh, what, what advice would you give to a student considering um, coming to Stetson? Or what, what should they think about and do? Um, Ruben? Um, don't be uh, afraid to come. Um, this is a, a very good university. Um, it, it has filled to, uh, all my, my expectations, and um, yeah. For me, I would say uh, come to Stetson, and if you can, take the evidence class on the first semester, mm -hmm. then take trial <laughs> advocacy, and <laughs> because that really is critical here, there's the best for that, and you will learn skill that will help you, not only for your work, but for every part of your life. It's very critical. Yeah, um, I would probably also encourage students to, um, if you have any plans, like if you, if you wanted to take trial advocacy or you want to take a specific course, definitely let us know. That way we can let you know whether or not you need to take a class in advance um, uh, so that you'll be prepared for when the class is available. Um, and also to let you know if there might be a class that, that is offered every other year so we can let you know whether or not the class is available. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please email us at international at law .stetson .edu. Um, the, I believe the address will come up later um, once we're finished with the, with the, the panel as well. Um, so how about, um, Julie, could you tell us about the emphasis program? Uh, we, we have currently, we have two business, we have two emphasis programs in business in environmental law. Um, uh, and currently, uh, Stephanie, her roommate, is in the emphasis program. Um, what could you, what, what would Stephanie, or what would you say about the program? Uh, she's in the business program. Uh, I think if you, from what she explained me, if you're interested in this area, it's a real plus to have this to your uh, diploma. And you can have a mentor and learn against more than you could learn without the emphasis. So it's very beneficial if you like this area. Yeah. So basically, the emphasis program is um, you are, are matched with a mentor, and um, they you just meet with them monthly, and um, and it's just a way to, for you to have someone to talk to about about the areas of interest that you're in into. Um, and definitely, as Julie mentioned, that if you're interested in those areas, it's, it's never a bad idea to, to have a mentor uh, to give you some more direction. I think that's a great, great um, idea. The, um, the, so the last question I have is about um, exams. Uh, Ruben, what would you say, what, how would you describe exams here in the United States? And um, do you have any advice on how to prepare? Um. Typically, uh, an exam takes uh, like uh, two and a half hours to, to four hours to, to complete um, long exams. And, uh, but are you, you are going to be okay because uh, you, 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 are, you, es, you expect uh, to, you know, to, to, to have the knowledge at the end because you 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 were uh, studying all the semester, and uh, so at the end you are gonna be okay. Yeah, a lot of times you you um, underestimate your abilities, and you'll uh, most of the time you'll be just fine. Just make sure that you're you know, doing your homework, reading your assignments, and if you have any questions here in the United States, it's perfectly fine to talk to your professor. Um, you can ask questions in class, or if you feel like it's too complicated, you can always 
um, ask if you can see them during their office hours or maybe talk to them right after class. Um, and most, most professors, I believe, are very open to, to helping you in, um, to understand the, the, the topics of the class to make sure that you're successful. All right, well, um, we are at the end of our, our panel. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the question and answer box. And um, I did receive one question in a form. Um, she had asked whether or not Stetson Law has a PhD program. Uh, Stetson Law does not have a PhD program. However, if you're interested in a PhD program in law specifically, um, it's actually called a JSD or an SJD. Um, to, the best way to find out um, about those programs is to go to Google, type in American Bar Association, and then type in program list. And it will list all the programs and um, their categories and areas of interest that they, that they teach, including um, off to the side, it'll tell you whether or not it's uh, um, a JD, LLM, or a JSD program. Um, so that would be my, my advice on how to find a, a doctorate program. All right, well, um, let's see. Well, it doesn't look like we have any questions as of, as of yet. However, um, if you end up having a question after watching this session, I, um, I, please email us at international at law.stetson.edu. Um, and if, if you have any questions for the students, feel free to send them to me and I can forward it to them as well. All right, well, thank you for joining us and um, uh, please send your, send your questions and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching Stetson Law Live. For your convenience, our contact information will remain on screen for the next few minutes. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you at Stetson Law soon.